Um, it appears <laughs> that I have managed to roll our little uh, can over here. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to roll it back over, to be honest. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play. So in the last episode we went ahead and explored the Amur region in the brand new Season 4 update and today we're going to be continuing exploring the Season 4 update uh, by checking out one of the other maps. And since we're going exploring a season 4 map I thought we'll go and explore a season 4 map in a season 4 vehicle this is a brand new vehicle to the game it is the Khan 137 Sentinel pickup truck now it's kind of a funny looking truck when you see it in its stock form like this personally I'm not a huge fan of it um, but there is some awesome upgrades for this. I've already gone in and checked out some of the upgrades not applied any of them yet Just wanted to uh, have a look for myself and um, I've also installed a mod on here that gives you a number of extra paint options So there are standard paint options in here and it gives you a load more of them So we'll see them later in the customization, but let's just jump straight into it and uh, See what we can actually do with this thing so the first options we've got in here are engine options. Now, uh, one of the previous Khan vehicles uh, that we customized, um, I went and unlocked all the best option uh, engine options and things for it. So this one is locked, um, but we've got the Azov AM uh, 4V160, and you can see that it gives us S power to weight uh, B durability and S fuel consumption. So that's pretty good to be honest um, Hopefully we're gonna have uh, some good uh, Power in there and not too much fuel usage as well uh, Then the stock gearbox fine-tuned freeway or snow runner. We're gonna go for snow runner Suspension options. We've got the stock. We've got raised and then we've got tuned custom which is even more raised now, unfortunately, the raised one is actually locked at the moment. That's an upgrade that we can go and get um, in the Amur region. But it's already pretty high. You can see it's lifted. It's got pretty good ground clearance already. So I'm just going to leave it there. The tune custom is a little bit too high. I don't like to lift them too high. Because then you have the fear of rolling over all the time. Uh, then tyres. Um, I think we're going to go for some... Possibly some off-road tires. I don't really use the off-road tires much, but we used them in the last episode and uh, They actually proved pretty good Now obviously the mud tires are going to be much better in the snow But off-road tires get are sort of they're a better all-round tire. They give you good traction everywhere So we're gonna go with them. They're only little 33s, so they're not massive tires on this thing um, They do look quite small But you know they should work absolutely fine then we've got a number of different um, winches in here. We've got the um, stock scout, the extended scout, advanced scout, autonomous scout, and high powered. We're going to go for the autonomous. We're going to a new map that I've never driven in before. I don't know if there's a garage there. So if we roll over, I want to be able to write myself there and not have to go and get another truck if I can help it. Um, we already have engageable diff lock and all wheel drive, so that's good. Um, snorkel options, we're going to go for, I think that one, the tall front facing, that looks pretty good. Frame add-ons, we can go for a small roof rack, that gives us a little bit of extra fuel as well, so we're going to do that. And then uh, trunk repair supplies, it gives us a bit more fuel, another spare tyre and some spare parts, so that is pretty good, we're going to go for all of that. Visual things, um, we've got the tow loops bumper, or we've got the stock bumper. Um, I think that tow loops bumper does fit the vehicle a little bit better, so we're going to go with that. 
Uh, rooftop options. We can go for roof lights, uh, roof LEDs, angled sun visor, or a straight cap visor. But bear in mind that these all remove the roof rack. So uh, I'm not going to go for any of them. I don't really like any of them. Front bumper options. We've got the Hunter and the stock bumper. I don't like the Hunter, so we're going to leave the stock. Miscellaneous things, we've got the threshold pipes, which is just going to be that kind of running board down the side, you can see there. We can go for an external horn, or we can go for twin horns on the roof. <laughs> Apologies if I do sound like I've got a bit of a cold, I've just got a blocked nose. <laughs> uh, and then rim options, we've got the stock rims and these ones, I'm going to go for these ones. And then here's where we get onto the paint option. So standard, it comes with this kind of calm two-tone paint job. You can obviously go for a full solid color if you want to. But if I scroll down here, you'll find that we have a lot of different paint options. Now, these are not base game options. This is a mod that I have installed. As you can see, I'm playing on PlayStation. So it is available on console if you want to download it for yourself. Um, but I just thought it would be kind of neat to have this it gives you a lot more paint options when you're customizing your trucks and You can make them look a whole lot better. So I'm not really sure what color to go for with this thing I'm just running through all the options for you now so you can have a look I think something like this might look quite cool um, I don't know whether we want the blue on yellow or the yellow on blue uh, I think we want the blue on yellow I think that looks pretty good then on the interior we've got all the usual accessories you saw me run through those in the last episode they're not very interesting so I'm not going to do it again but there we go that is our Khan Sentinel fully customized I'm going to go and head over to the gateway now and then we're going to travel to the northern Aegeus installation and here we go, Northern Aegeus installation. I've traveled over here. We get a little bit of a look at the map just before we actually load in. But let's go ahead and uh, open the map and have a look what, we, uh, what we've what got to uncloak today. Okay, so it's a bit of a strange map actually. I believe it is the same size as Erska River. Um, so it's four kilometers by four kilometers. But we've only got three watchtowers this time, but they are quite big. You can see they cover quite a lot of the map, but we can see quite a lot between those watchtowers, which is quite nice. And just as we load in, um, you might have just seen it before, there is a fuel tanker trailer just when we load in. So that's absolutely per perfect. So on the drive over here, I got a bit of a feel for the vehicle, which was quite good. Um, I got to kind of uh, discover how the vehicle drives, what it can cope with, what it can't. Now, it does have quite a lot of power for um, what it is, which is good. The problem I have is with the tyres. I'm kind of regretting not putting the mud tyres on. It was struggling quite a lot in the snow. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue. It wasn't terrible, um, but I did have to use the winch a couple of times, which uh, I do like to try and avoid if I can. Um, it's more fun to try and get yourself through without that. But anyway, um, I'll give my review of the truck later on once we've actually kind of discovered all the watchtowers and uh, I've got a better feel for the vehicle. But so far, it's not a bad vehicle, but it's not the best sort of scout vehicle I've driven. Um, but hopefully that will change once we get through some difficult terrain with it. Maybe I'll have a better appreciation for it. It's always quite uh, an interesting kind of uh, feeling when you're discovering a new map. It's kind of exciting mixed with dread because you never know what's going to be around the next corner like we've got here of course there is a broken bridge that we cannot go across so this is where we would actually kind of need to cross to get to this watchtower now there was a little road i did see um just back a little bit 
that went kind of around now it does appear that we might be able to get around here um, it doesn't you know there's no river going all the way through so we might be able to get through them trees kind of up there and round a bit I found this little road just up here hopefully this is going to help us get across the bridge um, it doesn't appear on the map which is kind of strange but hopefully this is going to lead us nicely through the woods I've just discovered something quite interesting it's not very easy for me to point it out on the map but if you see the rock um, there's like a bit of a rock just there in the distance. I think that is a bear stood on there. That's quite cool. I just sort of noticed that as I was looking around. There's like a little bear up on the hill. It's pretty cool. We don't have a lot of wildlife in SnowRunner, so it'd be quite nice if there was a bit more. Um, you know, a few more kind of little Easter eggs like that. I know um, there is some like deer and stuff um, on some of the other maps. And when you get close to them, they kind of disappear, which is a bit strange, but um, yeah, quite a cool little thing. So I followed that little path through the woods, and it has got us to the other side of the river. So I pause the map here, you can see we've got past the bridge. Now, the watchtower is actually over here, so... I can see this road kind of goes here and then I'm guessing it goes straight. I'm hoping there's going to be like a little side road off in a minute. It appears I may have found the road that we were looking for towards the watchtower. There is a little road off here to the left. So that's the main road through that swampy area over there. But there is this little road up here just to the left. So hopefully this is going to take us in the region at least of the watchtower. And then we can figure out our own way. Uh, once we get a bit nearer to it and we're at the top of this hill right I'm just gonna pause here and have a little look um, we've got a road that leads down in a minute down this banking onto that lake then we need to kind of discover a way to get back up that other side you can see it's pretty steep all the way around and there's not a lot of like trees to winch up so I'm going to go down the other side and see if I can find anywhere that we can get up there towards that watchtower. I always like to just go cautiously over ice. It's not fun if you fall through, especially on this kind of map where I don't know whether there's a garage or not. Possibly there is, possibly there isn't, but we haven't discovered it yet, so we can't actually recover to it yet. So, yeah. Just take it carefully, take it slowly, there's no rush when you're going across ice. So we might have hit a little bit of a snag here. Um, it's turning night time for one thing, that's not a big deal, but um, this sort of road that I thought was a main road, I mean it looks like quite a big road on here. Um, well you can see what it is, it's basically just a dirt path it's not actually very nice and there's quite a lot of boulders in the way like this which even some of the bigger trucks would struggle to get up here so I thought I'll try and climb over them in the can and um, I've pretty much got it stuck here um, it is moving forwards and backwards like you can see here but I'm struggling to actually just get around this rock um, Oh, we might have just... Okay, I was going to say we might have just done it, but I don't think we have. The problem is these wheels, because they're not chain tyres, oh, they don't really have the right amount of grip that I need to get over these rocks. So let me just go ahead and skip a bit of time so we can see a little bit easier. Um, yeah, you can see that we don't really have the right amount of grip to get over these rocks I mean if I can get on top of this one here I may, might be able to sort of pull myself across okay oh that was <laughs> that I don't want to toot my own horn but that was a nice piece of driving that was not a fun section of road right there um, getting over those boulders in anything would have been hell. 
But we've got over them. I'm going to continue on this road. Um, we are slowly running out of fuel. I've used most of the fuel that we brought. And it appears <laughs> that I have managed to roll our little uh, can over here. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to roll it back over, to be honest. Because we've only, <laughs> we've only got sort of one winch point here. I might have to roll it all the way over. Or if we can drag the back end around like this. I might be able to then uh, go ahead and attach that to there. And there we go. Luckily, we're in a place with some uh, winch points there. I was trying to get over this concrete thing. Never before has a concrete block you know, been such a challenge. But this is SnowRunner. And it is quite a big challenge, to be honest. Um, I couldn't even climb over it. I don't know if it's just because of the wheels not having enough traction or there's not enough ground clearance. I'm not really sure, but I couldn't climb over it. So I've made quite a big boo-boo now. I've uh, rolled over again. Luckily there is some trees over here. Um, but we're not making much progress. I still haven't got to the first watchtower. Um, we seem to be just going round and round and round and not actually getting anywhere sort of near to it. So let me just get past these rocks here and I'll open up the map again so we can have a look at the progress we've made. We have basically uncloaked the whole area of the watchtower but we haven't actually got to it yet. So it's just right here. Now as I mentioned earlier there is this little road that appears to be leading off to it. Now, we're going uh, down here in a moment. There is this sort of like walled off area that does not allow us to get up here. So we're going to have to carry on down here. It comes out of this river and hopefully then we should be able to see where that little road comes out. And we can go and get at least the first watchtower. And I might split this up into two episodes yet because... It's taking a lot of effort just to get this first one. Hopefully the other two aren't going to be as bad. Alright, we're going to have to do a little bit of island hopping across here. There's some uh, little rock formations in the middle of this river. There's a little bit of ice. Hopefully we're going to be able to get all the way across. And then, yeah, we've got to get up there somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. We are stuck in the snow once again. We're always getting stuck in the snow. I'm kind of regretting putting these off-road tyres on here now. Um, it's been a real pain in the arse, to be honest with you. Okay, we're across to the other side. Managed to make it across here. I'm going to drive up this side now, and hopefully we can at least get one watchtower. Okay, and we are completely stuck there now. Um, I knew, I was thinking that I should have gone down <clears throat> a little bit further there to that rock. Um, just down the stream, but I saw there was a crossing point here. It got sort of happy that we'd finally found the road to get up there, and it was not to be. So, that's going to be the end of part one of the Northern Aegeus Insulation Exploration video. That was a mouthful. Um, apologies that we didn't actually achieve anything in this video. I mean, we customised and drove a new truck, but we didn't discover any of the three watchtowers that we set out to, which is a little bit annoying, to be honest. Um, but hopefully next time I'm going to come in here with another truck. Uh, we're going to head down this road here, probably here down to the lake and up and get that one. And then we're going to hopefully go and get the other two. They, fingers crossed, they're not going to be too difficult to get. Uh, but so far... This Northern Aegeus Insulation map, I am not enjoying it. Um... It is quite a lot of a challenge. Um, I don't know if it's because I've brought the wrong truck or it's just generally a difficult map. 
Um, but yeah, it's a little bit pissy to be honest. Every time you think you can go somewhere nice, um, there's either a boulder or something in the way and you have to go around it and then there's really thick snow that you can't drive through. So yeah, it's not the most fun map but hopefully in part two we go and actually get all of the other watchtowers so stay tuned for that video coming out very shortly. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.